Welcome to Expanse 2.2 Chart Overview. First thing we're going to do is just go over the banner at the top of the chart. If you notice, the black bar at the top has different icons that will take you to different functions of the new system. This screen that you're seeing now is an inpatient status board, so depending on what area you work, it may look a little different. I'm just sharing the screen to show the navigation pieces and how we get into the chart. First thing I'm going to talk about is over here on the left, the return to. This is one of the best new features. Uh, this allows you to toggle back and forth between different um, PCS and EDM screens, or it also will allow you to go to the main menu while you are inside a chart. So if you look on here, you can see right now we're in the patient care status board. It'll also allow you then to go to the main menu and you can access different features here. So for example, if you wanted to print labels or if you needed to look at a report or anything like that, um, it'll allow you to toggle to that screen without having to go back out to the main menu. When you're finished with that function, you can click the return to button and it'll take you right back to your patient, patient care status board. So very nice feature. Uh, the next button you'll see is home. This will always just take you to your home screen and that should be your status board. So anytime you're doing anything within the chart, any of the functions, it'll always take you back to your home screen. And then you can see here this little uh, carrot downward arrow will take you to different status boards that you may have access to. So you may notice on there that you have more than one option depending on your access. Uh, next is the chart and I'll click on that in a minute to go in and uh, we'll go over the chart. Uh, orders, this will launch you to physician order screens, and discharge will take you right into the universal discharge piece. The other thing you'll see over here is menu, and this might look a little different depending on where your access is, but there's several different things that you can do within the menu. Um, help will take you to be able to ask questions if you need help navigating, and you'll notice this is also a new feature, so depending on um, where you're at, you can always look in the corner and see your initials and know that you're the one that's logged in uh, if you happen to hop down a computer and you weren't sure that you were still logged in or not. And then the close button, this is always going to take you back to the prior screen. One other thing is down here on the left, there's also a menu feature here. This one also will have different options based on what your uh, access is and what your location is. So we'll go over those a little bit more as well. Uh, this Circle arrow right here is the refresh button, so that'll get, allow you to refresh at any time. And then your find patient, this is also a really nice new feature. Instead of having to go out to a different list, you can just type in a patient here and it will pull up that patient and allow you to access their chart if you're doing any sort of chart reviews or if you just need to look up some information from a patient you had earlier or discharge or anything like that. So that's kind of like an overview of the banner. Uh, one thing I want to go over in this menu, uh, many of you may do different reports for patients. Um, you can see here the patient port reports is available. So this would be things for the clinical staff, such as um, your admission report, um, transfer reports for secretaries who are going to transfer out patients, things like that. So that's in there for you. And then another really cool thing I wanted to show over in this menu is there is the external link feature. And whenever you click on that, it's going to launch you to any of the available external links. So if you need to go to clinical pharmacology, if you need to get a CRAMES discharge sheet for one of your patients, uh, if you want to look up a lip and cot procedure, any a policies and policy stat, if you want to just go right to the intranet, um, just a lot of different options here that will take you right to that. And once you're all done looking at that, once you're done looking at that screen, it'll allow you to go right back to where you're at and you won't have to um, log back into Meditech. So it's super nice. All right. So next thing I want to do is go into the chart and just kind of give an overview of how to navigate the chart. Oh, one thing, I'm glad this happened. What you want to make sure to do in order to get into the chart, you have two options. You can either click into the little box to select the patient or you can just select the cell and it will highlight it and then it'll allow you to go into the chart. So once you're in the chart, this is the view that you will see. Um, this is a lot different than what we're used to, but a lot of the features are a little bit more accessible and they're actually really nice. So first thing, 
Um, if you look here, we're going to just go through the different tabs one at a time. What you will default launch to is the summary page, which is right here. And these items that are underlined, these are known as widgets. So there will be different widgets that you will see um, depending on maybe where you work. Those will be uh, set for you uh, prior to go live. Within each widget, there's a lot of really good information. So for example, I'm actually going to go out and uh, pick a different patient that we had lots of information on. So again, select that, go into the chart. So vital signs, anytime you want to select a vital sign, uh, you can just select right on that number. And it's really nice because you can look at the history of all of their um, specific items that they had. You can even create a graph. Um, so those are really nice. Uh, the other thing is if you click on a lab result, so say you want to look at their white count, you can see all of the results, also graph them. And then there are two different icons over here. One is the report. So if you click on that, it will launch you to the actual report. So if you need more details about that uh, specific lab result, it's available right there. And then also you can click on the little test tube and that's going to give you all of the labs that were done for that date and time. So just different views to be able to review the labs. Uh, next, if you can look through different options here. So we have um, labs, documents, your patient history, um, visit care team demographics, a lot of different information there. So you can kind of navigate through all of those. This little icon here, this little circle with an arrow is nice because it'll allow you to give more room to view. And then also you have this little icon over here on the right that you can click on and that will collapse all of your widgets so you can see what all is available. Um, just makes it sometimes easier to navigate and then you can just open them individually if you'd like. All right, so that's kind of the basic overview of the summary tab. The next thing I'm going to look, uh, take you to is activity. So the activity tab is really helpful. Just kind of reminds you a little bit about how you would look at um, the patient care or the work list tabs in the past. It will default here likely to the activity log. And anytime you see this little gray box to the right, you can click on it and it will allow you different options on how to view the data. So you can look at all activity um, specific to the visits. One nice thing is um, also you can look at the record scan, so that will take you um, right into scanned in records into the e-chart, which is a very nice feature, especially for um, if you are doing any sort of chart auditing. So just remember when you see that gray on the right side of the folder, it gives you more options. So this will just give you a lot of background information. And then if you click on one of the items, it'll allow you to see more in detail. Uh, if it's a note or anything like that, then you can also click into the all notes and it'll give you a lot of different information. So this is one way um, to look at nurses notes, but it'll pull all of those in. Um, the next tab is flow sheets. So flow sheets is gonna be dependent on what your um, access and what your area is. So you can click on the little, it says click here to see a panel, select a panel. So if you click that, you can choose whichever one you'd like to default. Um, for example, the adult clinical panel, it's just another view that uh, some of you are probably using already, but it'll allow you to continue um, to use that. And there's a lot more options for uh, customizing these as well, which can be something post go live. So if you wanna kind of look at the different options and see if you um, would have any use for those. All right, now the next one, health management and workload items we won't really need. So those you can see are grayed out. We won't have to really worry about those. History and problems tab is gonna take you to obviously your history um, and any of your problem lists. So very nice, quick way to look at any of the medical, medical history. Uh, administrative is gonna give you your demographic information. You can see all that information in there, your patient information, uh, insurance, legal, all of that. So you can see all that there. Other clinical, this is kind of a nice way to look at uh, kind of a nice overview of different documents you might need. Um, they're broken in by categories, so just something to kind of play around with and see what, um, you know, 
information you would need. Next one is diagnostic. So a nice quick way to look at any results. You've got your lab, imaging, micro, pathology, blood bank, cardiovascular. So you can just toggle between those. You'll be able to see all of the different reports that are available. Uh, provider notes tab. This is going to show anything um, that was written, any sort of discharge packets, consults, nutrition, uh, respiratory documentation. So a lot of um, documents are going to be located here. That'll be a nice and easy way to find those. And then another one is the nurse and allied health. So this also uh, is going to take you to a lot of different documents that this really reminds us mostly of the patient care tab. So if you use the patient care tab to view documents or interventions or assessment documentation, this is a place to go. And again, same thing. If you click on this nursing note, you can look at all notes and you can scroll through all those. So it's a really good way to be able to review nursing documentation. So kind of just go through those. Um, this also has one of the uh, gray boxes, so it'll go by clinical specialty. You can sort it by the activity log, by the date, um, and also plan a care if that's something that you work with. So again, remember these gray boxes allow you to filter more. Um, you can also go in and click the filter button, and it'll allow you to filter out uh, something specific that you'd be looking for. And then the last tab is the medications tab. So Currently, you can see it, it's on current visit. Again, this gray box, you can go to infusion and titration. You can look at home meds. You can look at MAR documentation, medication history, or the visit snapshot. So these are really nice um, ways to be able to review a certain section that you'd want to look at. And also, yeah, if you select on that, you can get more information about the medication there. Also, if you do the current visit, you can sort by category. So over here, you can sort by a specific class, um, start date, the status, um, stop date. So another way to sort, and if you're looking through um, to look at any medication history. All right, so that is overview of all of the tabs. Uh, one other piece I wanted to share is on the top, when you go in the document tab. So this is gonna launch you into the traditional work list view that everyone would be used to seeing. So this is kind of the nice familiar piece. It's like, okay, all of my documentation still looks similar. So that's there. Um, one thing you'll notice is on the documentation anywhere that you would chart, um, normally the save and done buttons are at the bottom. That's kind of one of the bigger changes is anything you document, your buttons are going to be at the top. So it'll get a little getting used to, but it's actually kind of nice. And then you'll want to make sure you close out and it'll take you right back to that screen there. Uh, if you notice right next to the document, there's this little downward arrow caret. And when you click on that, uh, it'll also be a way to take you to the work list right where we were just at. You can get to the MAR, the TAR, plan of care. And then um, this is a nice um, quick way to write a note. So based on what your access is, would be what list of options you have for notes. Um, so you can see we have quite a few, but if you know, there's a different one that you use, you should be able to see that at go live as well. Uh, again, canceled out and it'll take you right back there. Uh, as on the front screen, here's another refresh button. So anytime you see that little half circle with an arrow, you know that's a refresh button. This little eye over here is a nice information button. If you click on that, it'll give you a quick snapshot of some of the main demographic information, their code status, contact information, um, very handy, probably for quick review for secretaries and things like that. Uh, the reference section also has the name, age, date of birth, the medical record number, um, if they're admitted, their height and weight, um, the account number. And one thing that's really nice, if you left click on the V number, it'll take you in and it'll show you all of the patient's visits. So if you wanted to see any other recent visits, um, that's going to be one that's hard to remember. But left click on the V number will take you into all those visits. You can also, a lot of this is interactive, so you can click on the resuscitation status and it'll give you that information. Uh, also, another really nice feature with this is search patients chart. So in this, you can say you want to look for um, a 
chest x-ray. No matches found. Okay, so say you want to look for problem. I'm not having much luck here. WBC. Uh, white blood count. So now if you click on that, you can easily um, click into a white blood count and it'll show you all those options. So if you're looking for something specific, like maybe has a patient had this recently, another nice way to get to that. All right. Also, at the bottom of the reference section, there are going to be other widgets that are always available. So allergies, they're very nice as well, very interactive. You can click on that and document, update allergies, see more detailed information, problems, vitals, pharmacy. Again, you can click right in and update their pharmacy information, home meds, immunization status, current meds, and then uh, my widget, which is something that you can get more training on a little later on customizing a personalized widget. Again, these widgets might be a little different depending on what your access is. So just that they may be vary from person to person. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back home. And like I said before, home will take you back to the normal screen. So, all right, that should about summarize the basic chart overview. And the plan is that um, different workflows and different education may be pushed out to your specific areas, depending on um, the anticipated workflow changes and things like that. Thank you so much.